Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we'll bring you the story of a man who... Excuse me, there's the hotline. No, Patrick. Les Anglais, they want to dominate French Canadians. Hello. Uh, hello, is this Seven Days? Yes, it is. Uh, you offered to interview the leaders of all the political parties, is that right? Yes, we did. Uh, well, we just formed a new political party this week, and uh, we demand equal time. Uh, I'm just outside. I'll be right there. One S second. Sir, sir. Ah, oh, good grief. Where is that man? We'll have to interview him. I'm afraid we'll have to interview him. Sir, sir, please, sir, sir, here, the camera is here, sir. All right. uh, sir, I'm sorry, but the invitation was extended only to the major parties. Oh, that's a, my party has more votes than anybody. L uh, look at the latest Gallup poll here. Uh, liberals, 31%, conservatives, 18%, NDP, 10%, uh, social credit and others, 5%, undecided, 36%. But, sir, I, I do not see in this uh, the listing of any other party. Undecided, 36 percent, that's us. <laughs> Do you mean, sir, that the undecided are going to form a party? That, that's right. We undecideds feel that we are entitled to representation just the same as anybody else. And so this week, at an historic gathering in Ottawa, undecided voters from all across this great land proudly banded together to form the party of the undecided Canadian. P-U-N-C. Punk? <laughs> punk. Do, do you punks have uh, any ideas about the national and the international issues of the day? We have a thoroughly and absolutely consistent policy covering all the issues and problems confronting the world today. Well, uh, for instance, let us take uh, the admission of Red China to the United Nations. We're undecided. <laughs> what about the amendment to the Canadian Constitution? We haven't made up our minds yet. Uh, Vietnam? We're still thinking about it. <laughs> Medicare? We're not sure. What about nuclear disarmament? Well, at least you're consistent. <laughs> but do you punks really think that you can form the next government? Oh, how can we lose? Look, look at the figures. In each of the last four elections, uh, two million registered voters were so firmly and dedicatedly undecided that they refused to vote at all. Add to those all the people who are only able to decide which party to vote for by flipping a coin. Add to those the don't knows, the uncommitted, the don't understand the questions and the no preferences. And this could be the first unanimous national election in history. Sir, <laughs> sir, Un no. Undecided Canadians, unite. Unite! We are the majority. Power is ours for the asking. And who knows? Today, Canada. Tomorrow, the world. This is Canada's chance to lead. L let us join hands with our undecided brothers around the globe and unite in one glorious, omnipotent, eternal, quivering mass of indecision. <laughs> Canadians, <laughs> vote undecided. Don't just do something. Stand there! <laughs> last, week, last week, we asked you to let us hear from you, and you did. A thousand of you phoned or wrote letters. This, after one of his fights, was George Trevello. In many statements over the past few, Christian, law-abiding, and 100% American. This week, however, before the House Committee on Un-American Activities in Washington, a slightly fuzzier picture came to emerge. Eh, uh, are you or are you not, sir, a paid executive of the Ku Klux Klan? I regret, sir, that I must respectfully decline to answer that question on the grounds that I might tend to incriminate against myself. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, what is your address, sir? I regret, sir, that I must uh, respectfully decline to answer that question on the ground I might tend to incriminate against myself. Hmm. Uh, what is your name, sir? I regret, sir, that I must respectfully decline to answer that question on the ground I might tend to incriminate against myself. Yes, sir. Uh, who is buried in Grant's tomb, sir? I regret, sir, that I must uh, respectfully uh, decline to answer that question on the ground. Uh, I might incriminate tell you. yourself. Incriminate. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, <clears throat> uh, how much is uh, two 
plus two, sir? I, I, I regret, sir, uh, I must respectfully decline to answer that question on the ground. I'm not tend to incriminate against myself. Uh, what's the use? Witness dismissed. The, no, 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 wait a minute. Just a moment. Perhaps you'll answer uh, just this one question for us. <laughs> Why do you wear that ridiculous hat, sir? I regret, sir, I must respectfully decline to answer that question on the ground that it's none of your damn business. 